Thing, if you use the wizard, it will do the trans transition for you. It will have all this different style. And so all you have to do is, once it's built, then you have to customize it. Okay, first I want to talk about, usually every show you want to have a title page. Uh, so the title page is usually tell you the title of the event. Say for example, if it's a wedding, if it is uh, a graduation, so what you do is you want to uh, put the title there. Say for example, right now, you can see the type, I have a caption here, but it's very hard because uh, for the slideshow, it really shows the, the, uh, the, the name of the event, which is 2019 AHM uh, Photo Photography Workshop. And then the next transition, I use, based, use the slide 2, based on the slide to the entrance of this. That's why when I have the transition, I um, you see the uh, it's radiating right in the center. So you can see it's radiating up. So and then followed by the next one, the next slideshow, which is which is like this. And then the transition what I use is to I make it a fan, so it's fanning out. So in a way, it's a very... Uh, very hard to control this, sorry. I think that... Linda, can you come here and help me out? Linda, can, this, can somebody help, help me to hold the mic? Right now I'm back to the following uh, slide. So this, so I show you the which one are the most uh, interesting, and most of the time I also use the music to make the transition. Say for example, here I use the. I use this feature which bring the uh, which will bring the 
a snapshot of the photo and move across the screen. Okay, as it's showing here, so it, so it will move across the, the screen. And then this one, I uh, make use of the music and give it a dramatic uh, event, effect. And from here, I this is more like a procession. So you can see uh, some of the transition I use is to separate the, uh, the different sections. So this is more is quite a complicated program. It's very hard to maneuver. And uh, the music I choose for this section is called the line dance with drum. So if you if I go back to here, you can see you can hear the sound of the drums. Which fits into the theme. And for this slide, I want to see more action. Like the line is coming in, picture, and then moving out. I want to see those actions. That's why I use this different style to show it, to prove my point. So I want to do it one more time, so you can see the effect. Like it's coming up from from one side of the screen and going out to the other side of the screen to, to see the move. Now this one, because the person actually is doing a Tai Chi move, and so that's why I try to move the screen towards the left to see, to make sure you can see the action. So why don't I just show you the effect. So you can see the screen is panning to the left to see the action. And this one, which is a line dance, I make this um, a effect called shake. So I want to shake the picture to see the line is moving up and down. Did I miss that? So I have to go back. Now you see the shape. So what it is is you have to use up the appropriate action because if you use the shape too much, then it will lose the effect. So you have to use things effectively. And then you can see from the screen here, the music is tapered towards the end to show a new section. Because usually when you reduce the volume towards the end, and then you start another one, you will see people can 
feel the, that you start with a new thing. So let me um, start from here and then you can see the transition move to the ladies playing the Chinese organ with a different style of music. And also another effect I have here is to merge all these three ladies into the next one, the next foil. So uh, if I just replay this here, then you can see the merging of the three ladies into a single one. Okay, and then the next one is a flutist playing the flute. Uh, what I do here is I want to bring her as if she's coming down from above to bring bring her in. Okay, and then after that, what I'm using here is a flashlight flashing to see the next picture which is a black and white picture so I want to see that effect is a black and white so if I play it one more time now you can see the transition here is light and then you see the black and white picture So I want to talk about a little bit about this picture here because the, uh, the clock here is so colorful. I want to feature it so that people, I want to emphasize so people can see the, the details of this painting here. So that's why I use this style and highlight it. Again, because the next picture is a black and white picture, I use the same effect. Effect? So you can see it's flashing and then it comes, go to the next, next one. And this one, I turn it, flip it, turn around. Okay, so here is another interesting 